Well, hello, scrappers. Let it clean up a little bit of this brass. It's got a piece of rubber hose in it. Yeah, so does this one. Come out of my dirty, dirty brass bucket. This piece here should be pretty easy to clean up. A lot of this is going to be, have to be done in the vise. So. so over here is the vise. And I put a bucket over here on the scale and zeroed out to zero. So got to zoom in a little bit more. I'll try to pay attention to the monitor, try to keep everything in, in view. I picked this nut up, and you can see I cut this off. A little, little piece of yeah. Yeah, I cleaned up some dirty stuff earlier. It got pretty nasty, but uh, got a piece of copper in the middle. So usually what I do with that is get my punch and my little hammer. Try to get it on that copper and tap on each side. Got to tap it down. There's a little rubber, rubber washer in there too. So now we got a little clean piece of brass and a little bitty piece of copper. I'm just going to put the brass in the bucket. I'll start a little pile for the copper. I got some other other stuff up there. Then we got this nice piece with the swans on it. Magnet doesn't stick anywhere except for the two screws at the bottom that hold the that hold the swans in place. Stuff my wife picks up at yard sales. When she's out, she finds stuff real cheap. She kind of guesses the weight and gives a quarter or something for it. A lot of people don't know what brass brings. And yeah, just to be sure, I got my little mini grinder. Well that took it out of focus didn't it? I got my little mini grinder on the wall right there. And we can see there, you can see the color, I'm not sure. And then on this one, if I can get it right. So that's definitely brass. We'll zoom back in on the vise. Tighten that up. Bucket, throw that one in the bucket. Right now we're at 13.9 ounces, so that's a little over three quarters of an ounce. And then the way I do, uh, I do these garden hose ends. That one's pretty short, but I try to leave a little bit of, a little bit of extra rubber. Here we got, here we got some plastic, yeah, and then the rest should be pretty much brass right there. Take a screwdriver, 
get the little rubber washer out. This one had two in it. This one's got one. I think I had to cut this one off the hose because it was all boogered up right here. Wouldn't screw on properly. Here's what I do, I just put it in the vise. Get my angle grinder. Uh, if you're wearing earbuds, you might turn your volume down real quick or pull them out. Cut through on that side, then I'll flip it over. So I want to turn it. Yeah, I pulled two over here. I think I'll just do one right now. But the reason I like leaving it alone, that way you got a little bit of something to hang on to as you uh, try the brass back. It cuts right through, so it comes right off. Pretty quick and easy. Now this, these pieces, so you can see this outer edge right here, the magnet sticks. So, usually I'll pull this nut off, make sure there's nothing inside there, and then I'll just uh, take the angle grinder and just cut it. Like I said, make sure there's nothing in here, and take the angle grinder and just cut it right off here. So, not sure what size that is, it's the easiest thing for me to do is to grab a crescent. Man. Yeah, that didn't work out real well, did it? I think there is a deal inside there that's uh, not good. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and cut that off of there real quick. Hopefully I got enough uh, disc on here. Disc is getting pretty small. Here's a 
spring and it's got a little bit of grass to it. Sure enough, that spring, here we, here we are, that spring stuck to the magnet. Got a small piece of grass there. And that's possibly brass. Cap is definitely brass. I just got a couple pins down in there. I'm curious about. This magnet's not sticking, so it's all good. Okay, I'm up to one pound three ounces. Hey, we're getting there. It's a couple dollars. Got a nice big coupling here. I think it's a check valve. Mm -hmm. Looking at it. Flowmatic. Yeah, it does have an arrow right here for the direction of flow. So I'm saying it's a check valve. So the flow goes this way and then when you if the pump shuts off, it won't let the water flow back. And this end we've got a flat straight screw. So we'll see if it, see if we can pull the screw out and see if the whole thing will come apart. Without having to take a hammer and a punch. You know, I just wonder if the whole thing's turning here. Yeah, you can really see how that thing kind of works. That can push on it with this other end. Well, I can't get holding it with my finger. Can't get enough torque. So I'll probably have to try to hold it with another screwdriver. I unscrew it earlier, I think the whole thing was just spinning. And I believe the... It looks like part of the part of the rubber flap in there. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. It has a flat edge on it, so apparently it wasn't sealing properly. And that just pulled right out. That's nice and clean now. Not sure where the screw went. That took us up 2.2 pounds, 2 pounds 2 ounces. So <coughs> that added some weight real fast. I got you know things like this brass you know faucet splitter. One side is still good, the other side is, is gone. Here's another one. This is the good side, but still has the ball in it. And then this side, the ball's gone. So it's stuff like that. And there's things like this. Copper tubing here, copper tubing there. And I got a little check valve, a little valve in there that has to come out. Let's see if I can. I've got my trusty valve core remover, just like you'd use on car tire. I'm not sure if I'm getting a hold of that or not. There, now I'm deep enough. Yeah, some yards will, just that little piece there, will, they'll call it dirty.
checking that piece there, that's brass. So now, I'll cut this copper off of there. Guess I better get that out of the way. Tell you what, I don't know what I'd do without a vice. Two pounds, fourteen ounces. Start the Rip all over my glasses here. Got to wipe myself down here in a minute. So we're still good 90 degrees out here. I got this fan blowing on me. So that's helping. Yeah, it's almost time to call it quits anyway. I looked at this piece a little before the video. This piece here. And this is copper on the outside. I'm not sure about the inside. And then this piece here, with the threaded part, is brass. So what I'll do with it, I'll just cut it on both sides. And it'll split apart, and then I'll have clean brass. I'm going to take the brass in it, and tomorrow afternoon i got to run to the city. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and just take my brass in with me. And uh, that way I don't have to make a special trip up there. I'll get a little drain cock. Those are pretty easy. Mainly just put it in the vise and they just kind of nick, nick it here and there and then that comes off and the rest is, rest is brass, good and clean. I got quite a mixture of stuff in here. A little bit of brass here, then copper, brass again, and the valves. So. chunk of copper with a little bit of brass here and a brass cap. Now you can find brass almost everywhere. Sometimes it takes a bit of cleaning, but uh, it's mainly an angle grinder and it goes pretty good. Uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and we'll clean this piece up. But it cleans up pretty quick with an angle grinder. I'm going to try to the only drawback with splitting this like this sometime when you get to the other side and sometimes it just fall apart. video too long. Put it down on the copper and let's see if I can pry that apart with the screwdriver. It looks like the brass was pretty deep in there. So I may have to uh, Yeah, I think I'm gonna put a different blade on. I'm not going, I'm not going deep enough. Okay. Now going, I don't probably went deep enough. I think getting warm. There we go. Yeah, a nice chunk. Toss those two in there and that takes us up to three pounds, two ounces. So 
no, not too shabby. Want to remind everybody about these? Uh, yeah, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, nice new one. These things last quite a while. These go yonder cutting discs. I've got them on my uh, Amazon affiliate link page. I'll have a link in the description below the video. And a lot of other tools and consumables that I use. These here are nice and about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Pretty strong. And they they work wear pretty good. I've got this piece here. You got it. Got your fitting and that piece of copper tubing. Again, I'll put it in the vise. quits for this video if I tried to continue on with this video we might be here a long time hour two hours at least so a lot of these pop-off valves some say you can just knock hit put it in the vise hit it real good with the rod the, the rod and they'll pop this part right out but you can grind around this edge or cut it, you know, cut just kind of that lip is because it's just pressed in there. You know, we've got brass fit in here, probably a little piece of copper that needs to be cut off. Yeah, there's a clean, clean chunk of brass right there, doesn't even need to be cleaned up. That one, too. So I'll hit them on the grinder real quick, make sure they are brass. Pick us up to three pounds six ounces. Three pounds six ounces. Of course, then you got brass plug ends. I'm not sure what those are doing in this bucket, but I've got a couple three of them here. I got a bucket right there for them. I need to go through that and start pulling pulling prongs. Maybe one day when I'm sitting there watching TV, get in there. Pull them prongs out. Yeah, that piece won't be too hard to clean up. Got to break these two loose, get them off of there. That'll be clean brass, and then get the copper off. Here's another piece. Got the copper cut off of it already, and it's even ground down, so I can tell it's brass. Seven point nine ounce, three pounds, seven point nine ounces. And just all I need is just a hair, just a little bitty piece. This has got some copper here, so I probably it's got a brass ring and then a copper. So since that's really just that ring is just that ring is just compressed onto the copper, so what I could do is cut it here and cut it on the other side here and pop that ring off that copper should come on out of there actually that almost looks like a copper ring no it's brass looks can be deceiving sometimes but yes yeah, it's brass so yeah just chop it there. Let me do that here off camera. Here's another another nut. I just keep finding this stuff. I 
I just keep finding more and more clean brass in here. There's another plug in. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here, let you guys go, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So, if, you know, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit that like button, notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.